Welcome back to the Poker Stars Caribbean Adventure. I'm here with Kevin Martin, who is deep at the final table of the 1K. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's a good result. It's uh, five players left. I have $17,000 locked up, and right now I'm in third in chips. There's one really good player who's running over the table and two short stacks, so I'm kind of just hanging on, hopefully a few more ladders. But at the end of the day, hopefully pick up a few hands and can challenge for that trophy. It's a great, great result. So when the pay jumps are so big, are you sort of hoping that the two smaller stacks just sort of bust out? Are you sort of being patient? Yeah, for sure. Patience is a key. You have to be very, uh, you have to be very aware of what hands you choose to play. And often limping comes into play, which is something when you first get into poker, never limp, never limp, never limp, which is very true for new players. But if you're raised folding versus the big stacks, it's so expensive. So right now against the the good player, I'm, I have a hundred percent button limp range. Uh, and uh, fuck, come on, let's pick up some good hands. This is such a big spot. Seventeen thousand dollars locked up. One of my best results uh, live ever so I mean I want the trophy though you don't get this deep in a big spot very often well you did get a little prize everyone at the final table got to choose yeah. a prize what'd you get my god Sh shout out to poker stars by the way as soon as we got to the final table they laid out a bunch of amazing prizes uh, drones um, there's a switch there someone got cash I got the GoPro which is which is pretty fun um, yeah we're so we can shoot some adventures around the Atlantis here that's very very cool and they've done that at all the final tables poker stars has put a lot into this event like the set behind me looks unbelievable this is my third PCA and uh, there's such a buzz around this place so thank you very much to them well I know you play a lot online obviously and time, twitch yeah. yeah is it hard when you go to the live tournaments and you can only play one tournament at a time oh it's just mind-boggling and, and when you go card dead live poker it's just like when am I you know live or online you're playing 1500 2000 hands a day at least for me so you're just like it's you're never card dead online I mean you are but here the stimulation you just got to be patient and chill and and you're right when you lose a tournament after three days that's done online you're playing 35 tournaments a day it's a much different environment yeah, so you're talking about a uh 100% limping on the button. Is that just sort of to set up when you actually do have a hand and then you just limp and then a blast? For sure. It's just a, a little bit of a pot control, right? So I'm third of five. It's, it would be devastating for me to bust before the short stacks. There's some guy with seven big blinds. So I need to do everything in my power to keep the pot small. If I raise into the big stacks, I'm really putting myself in a bad situation. So shout out to my coach, Ben CB and Raise Your Edge. They're, they're, they're teaching me well. It's pretty cool. Two years ago, massive, fun, fishy. And uh, we're, not, we're not amazing, but we're on our way. Well, good luck to you. We'll be following along on PokerNews.com. Thank you so much. Let's win. Vamos. Vamos.